Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part 8 in creating a hash table project in C++. So in the last tutorial we just finished creating this number of items in index function and it just returns the number of items that are in the list of a single bucket. And so what we're going to do now is go to our hash.h file here and we're going to create one of our print functions now. And so in the public section of our hash class definition here we're going to create it with a void return type. It's not going to return anything. And we're just going to call it print table. And so what this is going to do is it will print the information um, that is contained in the first items of each of the uh, buckets. And then it will also tell us how many items are in that bucket. So we can kind of start to get a feel for what our hash table consists of. So in the hash.cpp file, let's go ahead and define it. And so we're going to go right about there. And uh, it was a void return type. And uh, we're defining it from the hash class. And it was the print table function. And so opening and closing curly brace, and we'll define it in here. So the first thing we want to do is create an integer variable called number. And this will hold the number of elements in each uh, bucket. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and do a for loop, not a core loop, a for loop. And we're going to create a new integer variable i, set it equal to 0. And as long as i is less than the size of our table, which we have stored in this table size variable, then we're going to do the stuff in the for loop and then increment the value that is stored in the variable i. So the first thing we should do is we should assign a value to our number that we uh, this number variable that we created right here. So what we're going to store there is for each i element, which is i is going to represent what um, hash table index or hash table bucket we're currently looking at. And we want number to hold the number of items in that bucket. And so we're going to say that number is equal to, and then we just created this function in the last uh, tutorial. So we're just going to say it's equal to the number of items in index and then we want it to look in the ith index because that's the one we're currently going to be looking at in the for loop and so now number is going to contain the number of items in the ith index so now we can go ahead and just uh, do our print statement stuff here so we'll do a see out statement and uh, we'll kind of put a border up top so we can kind of see um, what's going on and kind of see separation between our different uh, uh, hash table buckets. So we'll print that line out just for clarity. And then we'll say we want we want to know what index we're currently looking at. So we'll print out the index that we're looking at. And we're, we'll be looking at the ith index. And then we'll put a new line there. And then we also want to know uh, what name is stored in that first item in the ith bucket. So we're going to be looking at the ith bucket of the hash table and we want to know what name is stored in there and then we'll put a new line and then we also want to pretty much do the same thing but we want to know what that person's favorite drink is as well so we'll go ahead and print to the screen the drink value that is inside of that first item and then a new line and then we also kind of want to know since we're just printing out the very first item in each of these buckets we want to know are there any other items in the buckets that we're not looking at since we're just looking at the first one? And so the way we'll do that is we'll do a print statement and we'll just put the uh, number of items equals and then that value is going to be stored in number. So a number every time in the for loop grabs the amount of items in each bucket. And we'll go ahead and just print that to the screen so we know how many items are in that particular bucket. And then we'll do a new line. Ah, okay, we'll do a new line. And then we'll just go ahead and take this little border right here. And we'll copy that. And then we'll go ahead and paste it right there. So this should uh, print out all the information that we need um, to know. Well, not all the information. This will print out the information that. Uh, is stored in each of those first items then it will also tell us if there are more items than that one item in each bucket so I think I'll go ahead and stop the tutorial there 
and uh, we'll start testing this in uh, the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys in that tutorial. Have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.